Hello and welcome to another CG tip. What we're going to look at in this video is basically how can you rearrange attributes after you've already added them to a node and also how can you change what type of attribute it is. Now I know that you can use the modify attribute tool which is built into Maya but it is very restricted in what you can actually do. So let's just create a basic uh, node. We'll just create a nerve circle and we'll pretend that this is a control that we're using for a rig. We'll just delete the history. So let's say this was an arm control or something and you just needed to add in a series of attributes. So we would usually just go to modify add attribute and then we would say let's say we want attribute number one. We want it to be a float add that there and it appears there. Let's add attribute and call it three. And this time we want it to be an integer and we'll add that there. So that attribute just goes zero and one. Well, it just goes up in stages of one. There's no points in there, as you can see. This one goes up and you've got the points in there. So let's add another one. We'll call this five. And we'll put that as a float as well. So we've got one, three, five. So let's add two and four. And we'll make that an integer as well. So we've added all these onto our attribute, uh, onto our control, sorry. And we've gone through and we've built the rest of the rig. And then we realize, oh, actually, we need these to be in order. It would be much better if this read one, two, three, four, five, rather than them being all jumbled up. And this is useful if you've got quite a long list of attributes because it may be that you need to keep all the attributes together which control visibility or all the attributes together which control just the IK and FK. You know, it just it's just nice to keep them more organized. And what about the integers that we added? Maybe we've uh, added those in and we've create, built the rig and then we're thinking, well, actually, that attribute needs to be a float, really, or the other way around. So, yeah, we could go to modify edit attribute. But as you can see, we're very limited. We can change the names. We can make them keyable, hidden, displayable. We can also give them a minimum and a maximum. But we can't change the order and we cannot change integers into floats and vice versa. So how do we get around this? Well, what we can do and well, basically, there are some tools out there that if you search around on the Internet enough, there are some tools which will allow you to reorder the attributes. And I am planning at some point in the future in building my own tool, which will just bring up a UI and you'll be able to adjust those and change them all in Maya itself. But the one way I work around this is I basically, all we need to do is just go to file, save your scene, make sure you save it as a Maya ASCII file. So I just save this. So what we need to do now is open that file in a text editor. And that's why we saved it as a Maya ASCII file so that we can actually open it up. So here we have the file. I'll just bring this in so we can see it. Now I use a text editor called Context. Um, so if you're looking for something similar, it's a really nice and handy text editor. So here we can see we have all these attributes and things in here. And a lot of this you can just completely ignore. All we're interested in is down here. As you can see, we can see the attributes that we've added. One, three, five, two, four. So first of all, let's just reorder them. So we want, let's cut that and paste it up here. So one, two, three, and then we move four up as well. So there we've got them in order. 
because as Maya loads this file, it's going to go through in order like this, and it's going to add that attribute, then add the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So there, now we've fixed the actual order. Now we want to change the integers into floats and the floats into integers. Now, when you're adding an attribute like this, what we're interested in is this minus AT tag, because what that means is that's the attribute type. And double refers to a float and long refers to an integer. So let's just change those two to integers and we will just change that one, the last three, to floats. So we'll get one and two will be integers and these will be floats. So all we need to do now, we'll just save that file. And then I'm just gonna reload it. So that's it reloaded. If we select the control now, we can see they're in order. One, two, three, four, five and one, two, well, one and two are integers and three, four, five are floats. So there, just by editing the actual Maya file as it's an ASCII has allowed us to quickly go in, change the order and also change some of the attribute types. Now the attribute types you can change can be limited, but I guess if you're if you've already rigged these and all you're wanting to do is change from an integer to a float or vice versa or something like that, this will work absolutely fine and there's no problems with it. So there you go. It's just a really quick tip on how you can change the order of your attributes and also how you can change some of the attribute types as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you have any questions and tell me what future videos you would like to see. And why not say thanks with a small donation via my coffee page. As always, remember to like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with future videos. This is AntCGI signing off and I will see you on the next one.